Okay, so we're going to prove that for any sets A and B, if A is a subset of B and A is not equal to the empty set, then B is not equal to the empty set. Pretty straightforward. So um, let's go ahead and start the proof. Okay, so um, we have that um, A is a subset of B. So assume A is a subset of B and A is not equal to the empty set, right? So if we have A is a subset of B, then by definition, we know that for every X, if X is in A, this implies that X is in B, right? Okay, so um, we also know that A is not equal to the empty set. So what this implies is that there exists an X not contained in A, right? Does that make sense? Since it's not empty, then there must be an X in A, right? And we know that for all X, if X is in A, then X is in B, right? So uh, if there exists an X in A, then this implies that this X naught is also in B. So if this X naught is in B, this means that B must not be empty, right? And that is the proof. And this is clearly seen through a diagram, right? If we have a B, right? and we have um, A, right? If A has this uh, is non-empty, that means A has this X naught, and if this X naught is in A, then of course X naught is in B, right?